Are you sitting like... No, you're not. Let's see. Special report, that's fine. We'll promote you as well. I thought you were sitting like Captain Kirk for a minute there. So it's kind of a similar lean, but it's not exactly the lean. Not exactly the same thing. Uh, we need to own another building here. 50,000, 75,000. Let's, uh, let's go 50,000. That's literally all we need to do for that remaining challenge, so we might as well do it. Because, uh, there's not a lot of point in not doing it. Oh, hello, what do we got? What have we done? Open all of them. Hey! Doctor and Nurse of the Year, Employer of the Year, Most Prestigious, and Patient's Choice. Not bad. Oh, there's one! Yeah, it's a rogue mono bra. Kill it. There we go. Alright, we got one. We got one. That's a start. Always good. Always good when you get one. I don't know where it came from, though. Oh! Oh, we're a two-star hospital. Congratulations! Your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Your organization's lifespan continues to eclipse even the most daring predictions from our office-wide wager. As you grow larger and procure new plates that require spinning, the inevitable crash draws nearer and nearer. Best not to think about it. Thanks. Thanks for that. Really appreciate the uh, ministry's faith in my hospitals. Really, uh, really appreciate the faith there. That's great. Uh, now we do need to increase hospital attractiveness and get to level 10. So... I don't know what other rooms we could use to do that. I know that hospital attractiveness is literally just, like, make it pretty. So what we need to do is just shove a bunch of plants around the place. And this place is included, so... There's nothing in here right now, so this isn't considered pretty. So if we shove a bunch of, bunch of plants in there, we'll be fine. Which I guess we'll have to do at some point. But, uh, I think I might... You know what I'll do for one? Go to prices. 10%. 10% higher on all of those. Uh, let's see. Still no sign of Mono Beast. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cancel that challenge. I don't really want to do it. It's a bit of a pain to do that one. And I'll tell you what I will do. We'll get another GP's office. Heck, we could probably get- we could get two of them over here if we really wanted to. We could- we could get two GP's offices over here. Which, honestly, I might do. I might get two GP's offices, just because I can. So let's do something like that. We'll make this one a little bit more unique, I suppose. A couple of filing cabinets. We'll go for a nice big bin by the door. Hand sanitizer by the door. Fire extinguisher behind the GP. Get a small air conditioning unit in the corner. We can go for a trophy case. We can go for a nice plant by the air conditioning. Maybe a nice rug. There we go. Alright, that'll work. And then I'll tell you what we'll do. Gonna go ahead and sell these. And I might put something else in that corner, honestly. Maybe not a GP's office. Maybe another psychiatry if I can fit it there. Which I technically can. Let's do another psychiatry, uh, room, ward, whatever. Uh, and let's go for a changing screen since we can get that. And apparently we can also get the treatment bookcase and a fireplace. Absolutely fireplace. Absolutely doing a fireplace. Let's see then. So, the changing screen can go by the door. I want the armchair, no, sorry, the couch to go there. Psychiatrist's armchair can go there. 
and the fireplace right there with a nice rug underneath all of it. Now that's beautiful. We got a nice dog painting up there. We'll get a clock just up here. We can get a couple of other things. I think we'll go for this. Might as well. And we'll put that up behind there. Level three in here. Perfect. We're definitely gonna want hand sanitizer, just to be just to be sure. And a fire extinguisher. And we'll put a nice big bin in the corner. There we go. Alright, that's beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. I'm jealous. I want my office to have a fireplace. Actually, in saying that, I don't. I'd be so irresponsible. But there we go. I think that looks neat. Seems like a good use of space. So, we need to hire. We'll go for you. And hired. And we'll go for you. And hired. Okay. We're actually very nearly level 10 as well, which is perfect. But this way, this space over here can both diagnose and uh, treat quite a few people. The only downside is there's no toilets in this wing of the hospital. But that seems okay. Also, this is... Like, this is beautiful in here. Absolutely beautiful in there. What have you got? I don't know what you... Oh, diagnosis in process. Right. You're feeling too hot? Interesting. So, oh, so you feel too hot when you're... Wait, can I send you for treatment? I don't know if I want to do that. Okay, so that actually does warm the room up quite a bit. What if we did some air conditioning in there? Because that is a thing we can do. Where's the, uh, the small... Small AC unit. I'd like to just edit the room real quick. Small air conditioning unit. Put that back there. There we go. Uh, there we go. Stop editing. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Edit. And... We want the small AC unit, which is here. Put it in and confirm. Okay. So where are you going? Looking for work. You can work in there, bud. There you go. So hopefully that'll cool the room down a little bit. This guy is feeling... All right, I suppose. Okay. Hopefully everything will get, get, get uh, done nicely there. We've cured 88% of patients. We haven't really got the hospital attractiveness to where it needs to be. But that's probably okay, because I think I can fix that. Because what I'm thinking we do is we go like this. We start putting a bunch of benches in here. We'll go for a line of four of them. We'll double it up. And then at either end of this, I reckon we do plants. Because that'll make the area just a little bit more beautiful. And there you go. Attractiveness, 64%. So immediately, that does work for us. Which is exactly what we want it to be doing. So really, all we need to do is make this end of the hospital a bit more, well, beautiful. So we should be able to do that relatively easy. We can actually go ahead and put a plant here as well. And that's actually got us to 65%, so that's good. That's exactly what we want. We'll get a notice board up there. And we'll get a leaflet stand, I think, down here as well. Okay, perfect. So now we need to cure 20 patients and get to level 10. We're actually very near level 10 as well, so that's fantastic news. Do we need anything else? That's kind of my question at the moment. I feel like we... I feel like really we don't. We don't have any cues for anything. No major cues for anything anyway. No one's queuing for the wards. There... is a little bit of a queue for the GP. But... There isn't really anything major. Also, did we just injure someone? 
feel like we might have injured someone. Hold on, we need to fix this? Is this broken? I think it is. Okay. A lot of patients are queuing outside of- Where are they que queuing? where? I'm not seeing any complaints about queues right now. This guy's like thirsty and bored. Interesting. Oh, hold on. There was a bit of a queue here. Oh, there is a bit of a queue for this GP. Okay. Well, what if we sort of just built the same hospital on the other side? With toilets, probably. What do you, what do you got here? You want me to earn $200,000? I can do that. Hopefully. But I reckon if we built sort of, you know, another GP's office, more toilets, another staff room, just more treatment rooms over here, I think could be a good idea. That might not be a bad idea at all. Let's, let's go for it. We'll start with the GP's office. We'll make it uh, a reasonable little size there. Get the door on, get the, get this in the corner. And let's just make this, just something really simple. I don't want to go too nuts on this because we've sort of done all the challenges already. So really at this point, it's just a case of getting something that's going to uh, get the level up a little bit. Uh, so we'll do, I don't know, a plant there. That'll be fine. I'm not really too concerned about the the prestige level. In saying that, I'm going to go for it just because I can. So there we go. All right. That got us to level 10. So really, we just need to cure a few more people and we're done. But I'm going to... I'm going to say let's get a GP's office. I'm thinking maybe a pharmacy next, since we can. And we'll sort of go for exactly the same room layouts, or at least the same size of rooms. So something like that, get an extinguisher, get a big bin. Let's go for the sanitizer, and a small AC unit. Get a plant in there as well, right by the bin. Maybe a couple of posters or something like that. I don't know why I keep going for the prestige levels, because I, I really, I do know I don't need to. I do know that I don't need to. I just like to. There we go. So that's that sorted. We need a nurse. So you, none of you were actually good in the pharmacy, but that'll be fine. So you can work the pharmacy. Um, I think we do have room for a little bit more. We can go general diagnosis next. Oh, we don't have room. We could do a ward there. Go for a very small ward. Might be a better idea than uh, going for an oversized, well, anything else. So we'll go for a ward. Which is immediately going to be in there at prestige level 2. Tell you what, let's make it a little bit bigger. Just right up to that wall. We'll get the door on there. The nurse's station can go right by the door. You can change in that corner. And we'll do just a couple of beds. I don't think we need anything too crazy. We'll go for three. And I think that's okay. I think that's alright. We'll do a couple of lockers at the end here. It's almost a little bit more of like a... I don't want to say a private ward. I guess technically every ward is kind of private in a sense, right? Like, okay, other people can come into it, but... It's... it's... I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Just, you know, work with me here. Uh, put a clock up there, put a notice board up there, and that'll do. Okay, so you can work an award, so in you go. Alright, so that's GP's office pharmacy ward. We can go for, we could do psychiatry, but we did just get another one of those. Uh, toilets and staff rooms, what length is this? Seven? Okay, let's do... Four by four for the toilets. And let's do it this way. So one, two, three, four. We can do a sink there. And technically there as well. So I'll do that for the sinks. Unless I can move that one onto that wall, which it's not going to let me do. I'll tell you what, we'll do the sinks just there. 
And can I get another one? I can. Okay. Do three sinks. Do a couple of hand dryers. Nice big bin in the corner. Bit of uh, hand sanitizer. And maybe a plant as well. Alright, so that'll work for the toilets. And then for the staff room, just right here. Something like that should work out. I can actually do the door in uh, that way as well. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. I think that'll work. We'll get our sofa. Just... I reckon here. Get some armchairs sort of... Rotated around in a bit of a weird way. Just try and make it seem like a bit of a social space. I like that. Uh, drinks machine. Snack machine. We'll go for a nice big bin. And we probably want some plants as well. So plant here. A rug. I definitely think will look good in here. And maybe a nice dog painting. And that seems okay for a staff room. Okay. So that looks like it'll work. That looks like it'll be okay. Let's get our drinks machine for the patients. Let's get the snack machine for the patients. Let's get the benches for the patients as well. So something like that. We can do the same thing on this side. So if they want to sit outside for the toilets, they can. And then in the middle, we're going to try and do the same thing. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then a bit of beauty, I think. So... We want to grab plants. One and two. One and two. And honestly, I reckon... Maybe sell you, move you into the middle. And do a couple of leaflet stands. That should work. Alright. So we have another wing of the hospital up and running. We're not making a whole shed load of money, but that's okay. We just need to cure... Uh, three... Two more patients. And, uh, all is good. One more patient. And all is good. So this should be super easy. We didn't even have to use the entire hospital, which is great news. We didn't even have to buy this one. We have a whole nother bit of land up there. Inflated ego. That's psychiatry as well. Okay. A dangerous buildup of narcissistic thoughts. If left untreated, parts of the ego be begin to protrude from every orifice. Oh. Yeesh. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, inflated ego. Who's got an inflated ego? Who's the... Uh, you're the VIP, right? Yeah. Have you got an inflated ego? I have no- oh, you do. Interesting. Okay. Oh! Hey! We did the thing! We're a three-star hospital! Being recognized as a first-class establishment is always an accomplishment to be celebrated. May your festivities be righteous, but brief, then get back to work. I absolutely will. Thank you. Okay! Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm actually really pleased about that. Really, really pleased about that. We've done everything we needed to do with this hospital. We've got our, uh... We got our three stars. So we can actually just move on to the next one. At any point, really. Oh, who died? Who's deed? Oh, the machine broke and killed someone. Wait, someone else died. Oh no. Oh no, we just had two people die. That's a bit rough. Uh, lycanthropy. Once thought to be extinct, lycanthropy is making a comeback in dangerous forests across the land. Sufferers get it from direct exposure to light from the full moon, or possibly from door handles. Research is ongoing to discover which. Okay. We have seven patients with pandemic, which is the... If I'm not mistaken, that is the pan on the head thing. Now, I can see what's wrong with you. Where's, like, Ly where's lycanthropy? Who's got that at the moment? Oh, no, we're upgrading the machine. 
We have seven patients coming in in an emergency and we're upgrading the machine. Oh boy. All right then. Fair enough. We'll see how that works out. Inflated ego. All right. Do... Do we want to continue expanding this hospital? Because we can. That's the thing. This hospital can still be expanded. I mean, for example, this room here is backed up. What do you want me to do? Earn 200,000? Oh, nice. Yeah, this room here is backed up, mostly because, well, we're working on it. Maybe we do. Maybe we do want to do this. So let's get another Pan's Lab. And let's say, I mean, it needed to be, what, 4x4? Four four? So we'll do 4x4 four four on that. We'll get the door there. We'll get the machine there. And I guess, I guess another one of these isn't going to be a bad idea. Especially since we do have a, uh, an emergency ongoing right now. So get all of this stuff in here, throw that on that wall, throw the light-headed poster up there. Throw the dog painting up there. Let's get the notice board back there. A clock over there, and that should be fine. Okay. So we get the pans lab. I think we'll go for another deluxe as well. Just because we can, really. So throw the machine there, throw the uh, controls from the machine into the corner. Get a nice big bin. We didn't put a fire extinguisher over here, so we'll get one of those. Fire extinguisher in the corner there, hand sanitizer there. Small AC unit back here as well. Get a plant for decorative purposes. And prestige level three has been got, okay. So we're gonna need two doctors. We'll go for you since you're decent. And we'll go for you, since you're also decent. Alright, so you guys can work in there. Let's go ahead and get some benches. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And I guess we can do drinks machines as well. So, drinks machine. Snacks machine. Salty snacks machine. Get a bin in the corner. Can I not put a bin in the corner? There we go. Get a bin done here as well. And probably some plants just to make the area look a bit pretty. And maybe some leaflet stands just to stop people getting bored. There we go. So that should work out. That means we can treat the people coming in on the emergency. There we go. So they're moving across, which is good news. This is still being upgraded. Which is... Not the best news. But at least some of them will get treated. Drug mix- whoa, 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 whoa. Drug mixer 2 is on fire. Good lord! Um... There is a fire extinguisher in there, right? There is. Okay. Uh, oh, we have a janitor on the way. Drug mixer 2 needs maintenance. Really? I never would have thought. You need to get that fire extinguisher there, bud. There you go. There we go, let's put that out. There we go. There we go. We actually have a couple of things that need fixed. Let's get a couple more janitors here. Let's go for you, you seem fantastic. And I'll tell you what, we'll go for you as well. So hopefully that'll get everything fixed for us. Oh no, someone's dead. Oh, you're dead, alright. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll start upgrading things. We're upgrading this already. Which has been nearly finished. There we go, so that's been finished. This will get upgraded. Uh, these are both fixed, which is great news. This is about to be fully upgraded. There we go, extract a pan three, not bad. Let's see, what is this? Publicity update. So, okay, maybe it was a slow news day, but we get a nice big positive mention. Okay, we also just discovered Jazz Hand. A hand injury caused by too much enthusiastic thumb clicking, hand waving, and skin burns resulting from prolonged exposure to acid jazz. <laughs> what? 
Who has Jazz Hand? I kind of need to see who's currently got Jazz Hand. You've got Lycanthropy, alright. Can we... Can I, can I see who has Jazz Hand? Diagnosis required. You are currently working in pharmacy, but you're freaking out. Fair enough. Not really sure who's got Jazz Hand right now. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, treatment failed for verbal diarrhea. That's unfortunate. Alright then, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we can upgrade the extract to pan, that is very true, but do we want to do that right now is the question. I mean, I, I like that this pops up to remind me regularly that I can upgrade things, but I don't always need to upgrade things. We also, I think, have one more patient to cure from the emergency. I'm not sure where that patient is, though. Unless it's you. Oh, it was! Fantastic! We got six of seven, one died. Yeesh, that'd be a rough way to die. Having something sort of removed from your head like that. Uh, let's upgrade this. Because we really might as well. And, I mean, this is going well. I, I'm really not sure if we should continue with this hospital and see what we can do, or just move on to the next one. I'm really not sure because, I mean, we're not gonna unlock anything else in this hospital. But we do have another area that we can buy, which I guess we might as well. And we could just build a bunch more rooms. I just don't know. Because it's not like we have... We don't have a huge queue anywhere. We don't have anything that seems to be... Going... Crazy wrong at the moment. So, I guess... We might just have to wait and see. Also, this is about to pop up. I'll admit, those animations, I kind of dig them. They're kind of nice. Cure 80 patients in 90 days? Sure, I'll try it. That's never going to happen, but I'll try it.